Hey Rockhounds, welcome to another video. Today we're going to the Mount Taylor Volcanic Field near Grants, New Mexico, where there's a bisected volcano called the East Grants Ridge, where we will be hunting the tuff deposits for tiny little garnet and topaz crystals. These tend to be micromount size, so just a couple millimeters, but really perfect and crisp clear crystals and it's a beautiful location. The geology is fantastic. So if this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. So this is Mount Taylor, which is the remnants of an old composite volcano. And we are looking for garnets and topaz that can be found in some of the tuff in this Mount Taylor volcanic field. There's basalt volcanoes and old necks and lots of basalt lava flows capping the mesas. And some of the tuff here has gemstones in it. So we're out here to try to collect that. There's a lot of little bits of obsidian here. And this is the tough. Some pieces of it are flow banded. Look like maybe we could cut them and polish them. This is a nice piece of partially welded tough. You can see the flow banding in it. And you can see a lot of little crystals sparkling in it. It has probably sanidine crystals, I don't know. But it does have these little cavities that have small crystals in them. So this is kind of what we're looking for out here is, you know, vuggy cavities that might have larger crystals. And for those who don't know about volcanic tuff, um, it is basically the most explosive type of eruption that emplaces this type of rock in what we call pyroclastic density current or pyroclastic flow. It's a avalanche of superheated gas and fragmented rock that roars down the side of a volcano during the most violent type of an eruption. And then after it uh, stops flowing, sometimes if the heat is still intense enough within it, you can get welded tuff out of it. So it actually kind of, the heat melts it into a more solid sort of a rock. And this is a partially welded tuff, so it's not as hard to break as a fully welded tuff would be, but still pretty hard to work with. Rhyolite tuff, that's what this is. This is a giant boulder of the tuff that has come rolling down from up there and it's beautiful. The flow banding is really outstanding on this. And there are some bugs, they're very weathered. So what you need to do is crack open the rock and look for fresh bugs in order to find the crystals. And the crystals are tiny, kind of more your micro mount size, but still kind of cool to find. This is a giant boulder of the tuff, and it really shows the bugs that you want to be looking for. These ones are exposed to, this, to the weather, so any crystals in them are long gone, but generally you want to follow the trend, break into the rock if you can, and see if you can get into any fresh pockets. Very uh, difficult rock to break because of its welded nature, but it's worth it if you can find a spot that you could exploit with a chisel and a hammer. So these little pockets that have little tiny crystals encrusting on them are called lithophysy, and they form from trapped gases from the emplacement of the tuff and 
The interesting thing about them is the crystals that have formed inside of these are vapor phase crystals, meaning they crystallize out of the magmatic gases that were trapped in the rock when, uh, when the tuff was emplaced. And so they tend to be very pure um, quality crystals and they tend to be very tiny. This is the East Grants Ridge. What it is, is a cross section of a cinder cone volcano or a basalt volcano. And what you're seeing is the remnants of a volcanic neck. This would be the feeder conduit that was bringing the magma to the surface. And it went through this layer of tuff here. And on the flanks, you can see the remnants of the cone that would have been here long ago before it eroded. For geologists, it's a super cool spot because we're actually looking at a bisected volcano as if it were sliced in half and you get to see the interior of it. Okay, so if you go out to this location, make sure you're looking for the pieces, large pieces of rhyolite tuff. Look for the bugs. Look for those little crystals. There's quartz crystals, these little tiny white crystals. There's the garnet crystals, and there's the white bladed crystals, which are the topaz. And, um, you know, just train your eye to look for those little tiny sparkles, and um, you should be able to find some cool stuff out here. And don't forget to check out the amazing geology while you're at it. The East Grants Ridge is super unique, and Mount Taylor is super beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Take care, rockhounds.